Michael, with the guys and on his own, was such a lovely guy. Uh, genuine, quietly spoken, but very clever at manipulating. He was always a little uh, prankster. I mean, I used to, I learnt a bit of magic and you just used to entertain the troops. It was something uh, where an artist was a bit bored. I'd come out with my little magic tricks just to bide the time. Well, he was besotted with illusions and, uh, uh, and he was a prankster himself and he'd... Uh, do little things with the brothers and you know just little humorous things so when it came to manipulating the media well he had a field day and as you know that's part of history He was talking about the Beatles as well and how he loved the Beatles because I was from Liverpool and there was, you know, talking about music and this, that and the other. And um, and I said, well, you know, uh, Paul, you know, I've met Paul on a couple of occasions, you know, lovely guy, would you like to meet him? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I phoned over to uh, Paul's company to see whether he was around and he was and we took him over to meet Paul and I just left them be and I'd done that with Abba as well and you know Abba, a great combination because Paul is such a lovely man and Linda and Paul uh, you know adopted Michael you know as like a, a surrogate son okay. I was doing an interview at Capital Radio, we were going there. Capital then was not far from these studios. And we got there, arrived there a little bit early, lots of fans outside. So I'm riding around trying to work out what we're going to do. I decided to take Michael over to Lawrence Corner. It was a small little corner shop uh, off the Euston Road that sold military, all uh, military uh, used uh, garments. So uh, he was all excited. So we went into the shop and... Um, it's like a, a kid in a sweet shop looking at all the hats and the jackets. He ended up buying a, a guard's jacket, a red jacket, and uh, taking that back to the US. Well, he had a very particular kind of toy soldier look that. Uh he used in uh, a lot of his stage shows that, um, you know, I mean, became iconic. The, the, the um, military jacket with the frogging and the epaulets and the spangly glove and the trousers that were short so that you saw an expanse of white sock, you know. I think, um, I mean, it was very much part of his um, not stepping too far out of childhood thing that, um, uh, you know, he really evoked images from his childhood of toy soldiers and um, you know it's very sad that he's gone. Obviously I'm a Michael Jackson generation uh, so of course it's 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 a big loss. Uh, what can I say it's it's too bad we were uh, we were making suits at Dior for him so it's really too bad. Well I'm sure like everybody else I was quite surprised. Um, really it's a shame you know He's coming back to uh, 50 sold-out shows is quite amazing, you know. Um, and you, you, you just think, um, it just reminds you, you know, just uh, make sure you live every day and uh, make it count. It didn't quite ring, you know, it was a little bit odd, I mean, aside from the tragedy, and, and of course your thoughts go out to this family and... and, and uh, and all those fans who bought all those tickets and, and, and all that. Um, but my next thought was uh, heart attack and, and doesn't, doesn't quite go with a dancer, you know? It's a bit odd, I think. Obviously, we're deeply shocked and devastated by the news today. Um, we've been immersed in the life and the music, living and breathing the life and music of Michael Jackson 
all of our lives, but particularly while putting this show on. So it, it comes as a great shock to hear that he, he's passed on. Of the show and uh, the dedication of Michael's fans who come out in great numbers. Performing is natural for him, like breathing. So I'm sure it wasn't due to a stress. Maybe he hadn't performed in you know a very long time, but he's been performing on stage since he was you know a child. So performing is just like breathing for him. So I think he was excited more so than stressed. But I mean, as we all know, the personal things that were going on in his life, I'm sure had some sort of stress on him. But I just feel like he was more excited to come here and do it versus stressed, in my opinion. I think. He's an amazing person, a normal guy, which you probably wouldn't think if you're on the outside looking in. But once you get close to someone, like you start to open up to them, and you know you really see who the person is. He's just really cool. Um, it was amazing to work with him. A perfectionist, a genius musician, a, a master performer, and just amazing, amazing. And I'm glad that I did get to work with him.